Hello, I hope you're well. I'm afraid I would like to return the knife and get a full refund. Thank you. Hello, Daniela. Can you please tell me what exactly is wrong with the knife? Just want to know what we did wrong. Oh, no, you did nothing wrong. The blade is gorgeous and the quality is beyond my expectations. But you see, for me, it's crucial that the objects I bring into my home have the right energy. I have a spiritual and healing coach. I have a very strong connection to the energy flows around me since it's my job to redirect them in the right way. And that's the problem here. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. The knife I sent has a wrong energy? If only your blade had a wrong or polluted energy, that wouldn't be a problem. I would bring back its balance, but it has no energy at all. You sent me a dead object, a shell without a soul. So, what about the refund? Hello, I contacted PayPal and Etsy. I want to learn their policy about making refunds for items with bad energy or with no energy at all. Are you mocking me? No, I'm dead serious. Like, I swear to God, my knife that I made had energy, okay? I'm sorry that it somehow disappeared. I don't know if it got lost in transit. It's always in the last place you look. <laughs> I know personally I'm always looking for energy and I can't find it. I know that's not what they're talking about here, but I guess you can't help something like that. If it has no energy, you're probably going to have to refund them. Are they just going to keep buying knives until they find one that does have energy? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but that kind of sounds like a you problem. I'm not here to pick on anybody. If you actually buy something and you think it doesn't have the right energy or no energy at all, that's fair enough, okay? As long as you don't do that to everyone and you're not super annoying. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Some annoying, frustrating choosing beggars to start the day. It's going to be awesome. Guys, I'm not sure how many subscribers we have when you're watching this right now, but I've set up all the stuff with OBS and my microphone and stuff so I can actually do a live stream at 30,000 subs. It's coming up way faster than I thought it would. My videos this morning are doing really, really well. Everything's just sort of taking off. It's insane. And dude, I'm so excited for the future, guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so, so much. Like, I wake up every day with a smile on my face because I get to do this and I don't have to stress about anything else, you know? It's really amazing. I'm having so much fun and I really hope that shows in the videos. I think they're pretty fun to watch. Okay, let's make another one. Let's check out some choosing beggars. Free event, the solar eclipse party. Most kids go back to school that day. Can it be done on the weekend? Did this lady just ask to reschedule the sun? <laughs> oh god. Hey Moon, can you please not block out the sun until tomorrow? The kids are going back to school. <laughs> Imagine being so entitled that you think the solar the system should do what you say. <laughs> I don't think you've thought this through somehow. Come on, guys. Go get some rockets or something and push the moon back a little bit. Hey, universe, the kids are going back to school. Can you please just slow down? <laughs> oh, God, that's a new one. Dog park Karen complaining over the size of a free treat from Starbucks. FYI, if you're in the area, not to sound cheap, but after months of giving my pup a short puppuccino with my breakfast order, this morning staff said that management ordered them to downgrade to a sample size. Fine if your dog is under 30 pounds. Mine is over a hundred. Management fail. The staff at this Starbucks were told to downgrade their puppuccinos from a short to a mini sampler cup. That won't work for my 100 pound lab slash rot wheel of mix. Luckily, there's lots of other locations to choose from in the area. Hashtag boycott Starbucks Canada. Puppuccino. <laughs> like this comment here, it won't work for my 100 pound dog. Really? Are you sure? I bet the dog is still happy to be getting a treat. I don't think it's like, what the hell, Karen? These used to be bigger. Yeah, there's really no issue here, is there? You're just complaining for no reason. You're still getting something for free. <laughs> the entitlement is so strong. Just think about what you're saying. You're giving your dog a free puppuccino. <laughs> oh God. 99.9% .9 of all dogs on earth have gone their entire life without a free puppuccino. <laughs> and they did just fine. You're the one creating issues here. Is this still available? Yeah. Is it your private owned car? And what is the mileage? Yeah, one person owned 6,500. Any issues with it? Mechanical? Any dents, dings or scratches? No, nah, it's in excellent condition. Where are you located? I do have a very detailed description on the listing. Are you negotiable on the price? I can pay in full cash. 63500 is the lowest I can do, no less. Oh, okay, would you do 50 cash tomorrow? I'll take it as is and I won't ever come back to bother you. I've had offers from dealers at 565 and declined because I know it's worth more. For a selling price of 64500 and an instant deposit of 3000 I'll drive down to New York, but it will not be tomorrow, maybe Friday. You said 63 the other day, bro. Come to Manhattan and take 50 cash and 
enjoy the city. It's a five-year-old Mercedes for 64,000. I can buy one in warranty. I don't think this person's even thinking about what they're saying. My bad, 63.5, but I will not drive to Manhattan for 50k. I also need another person with me for the trip back. 52,000. Dude, I don't know why you're still bothering with this guy. I can sell it to a dealer here for 56 and I wouldn't have to drive 270 miles. You want me to drive down to New York and sell it for 52 so you can flip the car and sell it for 60 plus? No, I keep it personally. I'll sign title on spot. Dealers are bullcrap. Dude, I'll sell it for 63, no less. Kelly Blue Book is waste of time. No one gonna give that money. If it was worth it, the car would have been sold already. Come take 50. Honestly, at this point, I think you're wasting my time. It's only been a week since I posted it. Cars that cost a lot of money take time to sell anyways. I'm no longer gonna sell my car to you. The car's gonna get corona. Very bad luck. Come take cash before it gets corona and breaks. <laughs> I don't think I will. I'd sell it instantly for 56 at the dealer before I have to come down to you. Dealer will lowball you. I've already had the vehicle appraised at three dealerships and the highest offer from a dealership was 56. I could have signed it there. No good. Very bad luck. No eat bat no more. <laughs> I need complete sentences from you, please. And then he just sends bat emojis. Dude, you're buying a Mercedes here. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> just absolutely talking crap. <laughs> like, he's got nothing else to say. He knows that this guy's right. So he's just being immature about it. Dude, <laughs> that was entertaining. These people are so patient. I would never do that. If you've already been offered 56000 by a dealership and this random guy in New York is offering you fifty, like, dude, you wouldn't even waste the time. Okay, this guy's asking for professionals to help him make a game with no pay. I doubt he's going to finish his game. Hiring voluntary builder and scripter. The job. I need a builder with experience to help build a taco shop, a scripter to script the UI, drink machines, menus, hand to system, etc. The job is voluntary, which means no pay whatsoever. Requirements. Must have Discord. Must be 13 plus in age. Three plus years of experience. Work fast. Understands that the job is voluntary. No free models allowed. You want someone that's 13 that has three years of experience and dedicated those three years to becoming a professional game developer or whatever he's looking for. A builder and scripter. And guess what? I'm not gonna pay ya. <laughs> I doubt that you're ever gonna find what you need. Hey, I saw you do commissions. Can I have one? Yeah, sure. What do you want? Can I have a full body colored shaded commission of my OC in the last post with the other OC of the post next to him with a black castell in background? The post should be a big hug and a kiss with the two OCs. It's for my birthday. Wow, that's a big commission. For all this, it would be like 30 euros. Remember euros because it would be less for me in American dollars. Um, what, lol? What the hell? In the post, it is 20 and I told you it's for my birthday. Lol, so I decide the price. And yeah, because I didn't include the background and the character, which is kind of my fault, sorry. And I'm still being nice. It should be at least 35. Oh my God, what kind of a furry blank that still can't even do drawings that good wants to be paid that much? And you're like 15, can you even do this legally? You want me to freaking report you? It's even for my freaking birthday. Like, dude, come on. Do it for 10 and I'm being nice. 30 is nice for you? It isn't. Wow, no. No to this. I won't deal with a 20 plus adult that screams like a child, uses the words furry and, you know, as an insult and can't even pay when they want a service. You're an adult. That's how life works. You want something from someone else? Pay. But even if you want to pay now, get out of here. I ain't drawing for no man child. At least what I'm doing is legal. It would be illegal if it was porn since I'm a minor, but you probably don't know this. Like you don't know basic human decency. Happy birthday, bitch. <laughs> Dude, that was downright awesome. 100% <laughs> to everything you just said. Don't go treating somebody that's younger like this. And if you want something, pay for it. Oh my God. Just because they're younger than you doesn't mean their time isn't worth something. What's wrong with some people? And to insult them and say things like that to them. <laughs> An absolute man child. That's right. How much is your last price? I'm selling because I don't need it, not because I need the money. So it's 60. That's half the price when it was new and it's probably been used less than an hour. Good for you. 30 pound, no more. Are you wanting to pay in two installments of 30? Screw you. No, screw you. <laughs> Don't message somebody and be super annoying and super entitled and rude when they're doing literally nothing wrong. They have something that's worth money and they're charging for it. What did you expect? Do you treat everyone like this that is selling something? Buddy, get a life. Okay, a baker is done with a choosing beggar. I am one of your biggest fans, so I hope you don't hate me for saying this. Even with 20% off, the cake is $50. Shipping is $15. $65 for some cake is a bit ridiculous. I've been to some fancy places before. Cake is basically flour, sugar, eggs, etc. Shaking my head. Thanks for commenting and following. With all due respect, no one goes to the BMW dealership and complains that their prices are too high. Just because their prices are too high for you doesn't mean they need to lower them. You're just not their ideal client match, and that's okay.
pay. My pricing is usually based on my value, not a person's budget. Again, I appreciate you following. <laughs> Damn right. Just because you can't afford it doesn't mean it's not worth it. Like, these people are so self-centered. It's insane. And like this comment says, if it's just a few ingredients, I'm sure they can just bake their own cake. Simple. Yeah, if you're going to complain, go somewhere else. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you thought. And also, if you've ever experienced a choosing beggar yourself, and you have screenshots of the conversation, and it's really funny, and you want it to be in a video, just message it to me on Instagram, and I'll put it in a video. Okay, today's comment of the day goes to pizza. Vince is an essential part of a well-balanced quarantine. <laughs> Hell yes. Thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching my videos. I couldn't agree more. I think you need a daily dose of this. Thank you so much for being here, and thanks for supporting me. It means the world to me. I'm really taken back by the support lately. It's insane. I'm not going to go on about it, but it's really exciting, and I'm really happy, and I'm especially happy that everyone enjoys the videos. It's such a rewarding job, and I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. So guys, thank you so much. I'm going to be doing a live stream here soon, and make sure you tune in for that. It's going to be like an hour or two after I post my videos, which should be about eight in the morning for me here in Australia. So yeah, probably like a couple of hours after I post my videos normally is when I'll do the live stream, and it'll be here on YouTube. So it'll be a whole bunch of fun, and definitely tune in for that. Guys, as always, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Check out the Discord server if you haven't already, and have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely night, and I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new videos. I'll see you then.